Welcome again to ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create the drop down by using select list, but we will make some changes into our list. And this time, we will be using some complex list which will be having some text properties. And for each text property, we will be having some value property. Let's learn how to create this type of drop down into our application. We need to create a drop down using select list with text and value property. Let's open the Visual Studio and let's see how it works. Again, we are back to our bookstore web application. Right now, you can see that we are using a list of plain string and we are passing all these languages to our view and we are creating a drop down. But in real world, we will get this data from the database and based on the data that we get from the database, we will populate the drop down. For now, let's create a model. Suppose inside this models folder, I'm going to create a new model. The name is language model okay inside this language model let's add few properties suppose first i'm using id then i'm using text let's go to the book controller and over here we can create a new private method to get the list of all these languages private The private method is ready and this private method will return a list of all the languages in form of this language model. Okay, now let's go to our action method. Now there are two ways to use this select list. Either you can use this select list on the view and you can pass the list of your data to this select list. The second approach is that you can use this select list over here onto this action method and you can pass the formatted data to your view so this time we have made some changes to our list and the language list is available inside this get language method so as a first parameter we need to pass the collection which is get language perfect let's have a look onto the definition of this select list class right click on this one and choose go to definition we need to focus on the third overloaded version okay so first we need to pass the collection and in the second parameter we need to pass the data value property here you can see data value field and the third parameter is data text field so it means second one should be value and then the third one should be text and focus on the type of these properties the type is string perfect let's go to the controller here as a second parameter we need to pass the value and the value is id so we can pass id like this over here let's put a comma and as a third parameter we can pass the text so here is the text okay let's remove this language for a while let's save all the changes and let's make all the similar changes to our post method as well so here you can see that we are using this viewback.language here as well we need to make these changes and we do not need these model error we were using these models just for the learning purpose so we can remove these as well so we are done with the changes let's run this application now click on the add new book again this time you can see that we are having first please choose your language and we have three languages but the main logic is available into the html section let's right click on this drop down and choose inspect okay let's focus on the html this time you can see that the text is hindi english and dutch these are coming from the controller action method and the value is one two three these are the ids if you have your value with some other name then you can pass the name into the second parameter now let's learn how to pass this data to our action method so let's choose a language and click on the add book button this time you can notice that into the language property we are getting one Although this ID is a string because we have not updated the type of the language property in the upcoming video we will update the type of this language property as well but focus on the concept. The value that is associated to the language is available over here as a value. Perfect. Let's click on the continue. Because we have not filled other data that is why we are getting this error. But this time let's click on the please choose your language and let's click on the add book button. Without checking anything, let's click on the continue button. 
this time you can see that we are getting the error message please choose the language of your book so it means validation is also working in case you have a need where you need to use a drop down by using text and value property so you can use this concept if you do not want to use this select list over here into your excel method you can directly use all the same thing into your view as well so here into this view you can use the select list and you can pass all the first second and third parameter and the drop down will work perfect now let's learn how to display the default selected value for this language drop down remember this time we are using text and value field and in the value field we are passing the id so if you want to make your language selected then you have to use the id so instead of passing the text this time we need to pass the id suppose i am passing 2 over here let's run this application click on the add new book link and this time you can see that the english is selected here you can notice that english is selected why because we are passing its value from the action method and we have bind this property to the language by using esp4 attribute and everything is happening automatically that is all in this video make sure you hit the like button of this video subscribe to the channel and share this video thank you for watching have a great day